Good morning, everyone. As you can see, this is Lenovo IdeaPad 320. Recently, we upgraded the SSD, so we need to install the fresh windows in UEFI environment. So that's the bootable Windows 10 UEFI thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. So to reinstall Windows, you should have one of them. Make sure you create it correctly. Make sure you know the difference between MBR and GPT. All right. And then once you have that, we're going to connect into an USB port. And then Lenovo always funny with our BIOS system. OK, normally we press F1, F2, F9 to get into BIOS by default uh, for different manufacturers. But for Lenovo, especially IdeaPad is completely different. As you can see in that side, I mean, on the left hand side, there is a little hole right next to right next to the SD card slot. So when it's switched off, if you take a paper clip and click in there, there is a hidden button in there. Once you click, your system will turn on and it's going to give you novel button menu, which is a kind of, let's say, BIOS button I call. And then from here, you can get into BIOS setup. And if you hit enter, it's going to take you directly to the BIOS option. And as you can see, this is the ordinary uh, traditional BIOS page. From here, we can change a couple of settings to enable the UEFI boot. So go to security. Secure boot is enabled. If that is disabled, make sure you make it enabled. But if that is already enabled, leave it as it is. And then we're going to go to boot option. From here, as you can see the boot mode. If you find UEFI, then you must need to leave it that way. And, and if you just save the settings, should be fine. But if you want to make your USB into the first boot, then you just need to choose from the boot priority option. Now it's going to turn on, take a couple of minutes, less or more, to read the actual USB. And then it's going to take you directly to Windows Setup page. Once you are in Windows setup page, then you can perform the Windows installation by clicking Agree Terms and Condition. Now you can choose here the language and everything. So just wait if you see this, accept the terms and condition. You can read it. By the way, if you want to do fresh installation, go for the second option. And then this is the hard drive, I mean SSD. And if you want to create any partition, you can click on new and choose the size. But I just want to keep a single partition. So I'm going to cancel, keep only one and hit next. And that's the main process has begun. Now it's going to copy all the necessary file and folders to the directory. And then it would finalize the setup, install all the built-in updates and finalize the setup and then everything should be fine. So I'm going to fast forward this video just to check if it is, you know, successful or not. Stay with me.
All right, so finally it's done. This is the end of it. Still, if you do have any question, please make sure you leave it in the comment section. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.